So conductance is a measure of how easily current flows through something. It's really just the inverse of resistance. And we express it with the capital letter G. So G, or our conductance, is just equal to 1 over R for resistance. We can switch that around, obviously, and have resistance is just equal to 1 over G. And conductance is in units of Siemens, and resistance is in units of ohms. So because they are reciprocals, basically just if you increase conductance, then resistance will drop, or if you increase resistance, then conductance will drop. So let's take a look at a very simple voltage divider circuit with three resistors. So the total resistance of the circuit is going to be equal to the sum of those three resistors. So R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now, if we take the inverse of both sides, then on the left side where we have the inverse of R total, that's going to be equal to G total. And then on the right, we just have one over the sum of R1 plus R2 and R3. But we already expressed up above that R total is just equal to the sum of those anyways. So we can simplify this a little bit. And we have that the total conductance, G total, is just equal to one over the total resistance, which was R total. So this is exactly what we have up here in our definition. We've just added the subscripts for the overall circuit. Okay, so now let's take a look at a simple current division circuit where we have a single voltage source and three resistors in parallel. Now you'll see later in the course that the expression for total resistance is this kind of funky looking one here. But what we can do is we can take the inverse of both sides. So if R tot is over one, then basically we're just going to flip each fraction. So we have one over total resistance is equal to just the denominator of the, the right hand side. And because conductance is just equal to one over resistance, then we have one over total resistance is our total conductance. So this can be written as G tot. And then one over resistance one is just conductance one. And then we have conductance two and conductance three. So the expression for total conductance actually looks a lot cleaner than the expression for total resistance, um, but you can see that they are related. But yeah, when we have multiple parallel branches in a circuit, basically that's going to increase our conductance or essentially decrease the resistance. And where we have multiple resistors in series, it's going to increase the overall resistance, but then decrease the conductance.